Okay, got uh, my long boards, my 14 footers I'm going to call them, even though they are a little short of that, but that's what I'm going to call them. You can see that uh, this is going to be my finished side. So I sanded the other side to 150, this side to 220. And then here's my end pieces. Uh, they're also the sanded the same way, this being my finished side. So I want to show you the joints here. And if you don't look too carefully, it can go right by you. But the joint is right there. Pretty tough to pick out on this one. This one you can see a little easier because the grain match is not the greatest, but this one is right here. Pretty good for two boards that are just joined together with dowels at 90 degrees to make these 14 foot boards. And you can see here, I've got a pretty uniform gap all the way down and back. And when I put these two together, end for end, tight on both ends, I've got in the middle, at the most, a sixteenth of an inch gap right here. That's that's all I've got over the 14 foot length. Actually if I tighten them up, they weren't exactly tight were they? It's probably less than that. Probably uh, between a sixteenth and a thirty second. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm, a, I'm ecstatic actually. So all my all my pieces are ready to go uh, to make my box so I'm gonna get started on that what I'm gonna do then is uh, do the same thing as I did here with these pieces I'm gonna you know I've got four dowels in here if you remember two and two and I'm gonna do the same thing only these will be going in through this way two and two and they'll be visible on this outside edge which I don't have a problem with I think they'll add a little, nice little decorative touch so that's what I'm gonna get going on next you know that feeling as a woodworker <laughs> when something turns out nice and perfect you just want to keep rubbing your hands over it okay I got my end pieces uh, in place dowel or you know drilled and dowel or ready for dowels I should say on both ends and then I got all my ribs cut and there's the notch I was telling you about on both ends and then this inside dimension here is the same inside dimension as that uh, as the end piece so that sits in there nice and square like that. Uh, what I need to do is lay out my spacing. But before I did that, I wanted to make sure it was going to work. So after four attempts of this was this was simulating my my side piece here. After four attempts of drilling holes in this to get it to mate up, after I drilled a hole for my my simulated my simulated side this is my simulated cross member my my rib I should have said <clears throat> after doing that it took me five attempts to finally figure out on my fifth attempt that I could not use my dowel jig to make the hole in this in this rib there was just no way to register it uh, and get the same dimension so what I did was I took this piece to my drill press carefully set it up, matched up the drill, the, the same drill I used in the jig, uh, and set my fence up and some stops so that when I put my rib in there in this direction, this spacing from this edge to that hole is exactly the same. Okay, so that's my result right there which is what I'm looking for.
see if that's the way, you know, but there it is, sorry. There's my result. So I get a nice fit all the way around. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is lay out my spacing, I'll set my ribs, and then I'm gonna actually drill one and make sure it's gonna work again and that it's repeatable. And then I'll just go to town and start drilling all the rest of them. So that's where I'm at. So I have to do this in two operations. Drill the sides with my jig, with the jig here, drill my sides, and then drill my ribs on the drill press so that they'll mate that way. All right, we'll get to it. Okay, uh, success. I'm, I'm, I've got my bolt pieces doweled and I have a dowel in each hole there. And it fits nice. The only thing that I notice is that I'm offset here from my line about a, uh, probably a 30 second maybe. You can see my line here. So that, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, they're 12 inches on center and if I'm consistently off they'll they'll be fine. So uh, I like it. So that'll be, that'll give this thing some more rigidity because of the because of the notch and the dowels. So I'm just going to continue on and drill all my holes take my drill bit, uh, bit out of my hand drill, take it to the drill press, drill all my ribs, and uh, hopefully by that time uh, the postman will be here. He's got, he's got uh, fluted dowels for me, quarter inch fluted dowels in, in his truck somewhere. So I can use those instead of these, these uh, hardware store dowels that I have to cut to length. But I, I, I like the way it, I like the way it worked out, and I'm going to continue on with the process. I've got all my holes drilled uh, around the perimeter, except for the last two. I thought I'd show you how I do this. So I've got my line with an X, which means that side, that side of the line is where my hole is going to go. I bring my jig up to the line. Not I don't cover it. I just bring it right up to it. Tighten it down and drill away. Loose her up. Go to the next one here. Come up to the line. And then drill my hole here. Let me widen this out a little bit. I'll tell you what, a very super cool tool is we don't have a doll jig, but if we did, this would be it. Now this thing is put together, it's, it's a fantastic jig. Uh, I don't remember the inventor's name, but Dollmax, you can find it on the internet, Dollmax. Great tool. And the beauty of it is, is that when I, when I register to the mark this way, I'm, my hole is going to be exactly the same as if I would have, if I had the X on the other side and came up to the line this way, the spacing is exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which side you register off of, you're going to get the same hole. Okay, now I'll, I'll show you. I'm going to take my camera to the drill press and, and show you the setup I did for my ribs. All right, my drill press setup. I've got two stop blocks that I fit my piece into. That keeps it from moving from side to side, and I just make sure I'm up tight against the fence. And uh, I suppose I could have some kind of a right angle fixture here to to keep that 
you know, squared up for sure, but this is so close that it's not going to really matter. I think I can eyeball it pretty good. And uh, I got my stop set, so I drilled about a three-quarter inch hole after I, after I begin drilling. So I'll just drill that one, then I reverse it, and I, and I drill the next one. And the thing about doing it this way is this thing, this drill bit has to be centered up uh, on this work piece. If it's off center one way or the other, you're going to double your arrow when you go to put it on your piece. So I've got it centered, and uh, I'm confident that that's going to work out because I've already done one. And uh, the, reveal, the reveal from my line on both sides is, is uh, it's within a, thousand, a few thousandths of an inch anyway, so I'm not going to mess around with this. So, and then uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drill all these. I'll show you these. I'll drill you these two holes here, and the rest will be just the same. But today is January 6th up here in Wisconsin, and I think we may have set a record. I'm not positive, but it was 28 below zero last night. Uh, and when I got up this morning at uh, about 7 o'clock, it was still 22 below. And I don't think it's going to get much warmer than 17 below or 15 below for, for today's high. So it's cold, and it's a good day to be down in the shop. But let's get drilling holes here. sure that there's no debris behind this to uh, kick it off further away from the fence. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, every time I, I'm going to drill two, and every set of two uh, ribs, I'm going to take my vacuum and clean this out. And there's, there's my hole. Or the for my pegs that'll be in my sides. So uh, whatever I've got here, one down, eleven to go, I guess. All right. In the interest of full disclosure, I changed my setup. Um, I adjusted everything ever so slightly because I was I was noticing some error. But what I did was I put in this rounded stop so I just have that one point of contact here on this side. And that allows me now, I just, I can push up against this stop and push in at the same time and square everything up that way. And it's, it's I'm getting much better results. Okay, there it is, uh, all dry fitted together. I've got my all my ribs in. They went together just perfectly. The, the postman arrived here a short time ago with all my dowels. So I put all my ribs on it, uh, dry fitted them, and I'm gonna leave them on, uh, square up the table as best I can, and then uh, I'm gonna glue the two ends in first. So I'll start, I'll start here with, with this end and then get out of the other end, uh, you know, rack it whichever direction I need to go to get it square and uh, then just take it from there. So that's the next procedure. Well, we've heard that saying, you can't have enough clamps and I'm, I'm running short, but I want to show you how I've been doing this and it's just repeat, repeat, repeat. So I'll grab a, 
Table rib. Some glue. It's on the other side. So I'll start on that side. forces out the, the glue because these things are fluted so it pushes excess glue to the top and then I just coat the, glue, the dowel with that. Some in the corner. Paint that up. Get the other side here. And this all squared up before I started doing this. So paint this one up. Not real concerned about <clears throat> about this edge from here. There's going to be another trim board to cover up some of this, so try and find that. There we go. this excess glue before it runs down. Just the bulk of it. Okay, that's that side, go to the other. so on and so on. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. So. That's how it goes. We just one at a time and work my way down to the end. All right, there it is. I had to borrow from the end that I already completed, but those are pretty solid down there, so I'm not too concerned about those first three that I did. That's been probably at least an hour. So they're set pretty good. But I got them all set in, all clamped and glued. I'm going to let this sit for till after dinner. Then I'll come down and take the clamps off and I've got to get, it, get this off of my workbench slash table saw so I can get back to work and start cutting up the rest of this thing. So I've got to set up some kind of a temporary sawhorse set up here so I can take this off of here and get her uh, get her off my workbench and table saw. I don't think I have enough room to go widthwise, otherwise I might try that. I'll measure that and see. Lots of work to do yet though, but this is a this is a good step right here. Alright, I had to do some shifting around, but I got it moved over with the help of my lovely wife, Deb. I'm gonna just show you that I've got it set up on a, kind of a couple of makeshift 
saw horses, I guess. One of them is my roller system with the aluminum I beam there. And the other is I'm using my shop smith down there as my other support along with another aluminum I beam. So you can see it right there. Oops. There it is. And then down here is the other one. Right there. So it gets it to a nice work height. Uh, one thing I did want to show you was I've got it set up and it worked out pretty good. I'm level. I've checked it in several spots. I'm level width-wise. and lengthwise so it's uh, it's nice to know that I don't have any any torque in the thing you can get the reflection off of that bubble there so there's really no torque or twist in it so the other thing I need to do now is which I'm going to do and that's the last thing tonight I've got to attach these other pieces here that they get doubled up. It gets doubled up in uh, four spots, and then in here goes a platform for the uh, leg support that goes this way, and then on the other side is the uh, the bed for the the actual playing surface. So I'm going to glue these four pieces on, two here, then two on the other end. And that'll be it for tonight. But the good news is, even though it's a mess, I did get my table saw area cleared off and ready to go. There's my plans there, showing you what I what I need to do here. This is where I am right here. Got to get these doubled up pieces there on and then I can put in the leg platforms in yellow and then flip it over and start working on the on the bed cutting the plywood uh, bed to, to size and laying that in there all right let's get to it and I'll get that done tonight and we'll see you tomorrow